How's it going, YouTube lovers? This is the Eagle Blood Right Welcome back to another video where today I'm doing another trailer reaction. Today I am reacting to the final trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now, I'm going to be completely honest and open here. I only started really learning about Sonic this year. <laughs> uh, I didn't watch, I just watched the moot first of the live action movies this year. Um, uh, I, I was aware that Sonic existed when I was younger. In fact, I did play a Sonic game, but it was the Sonic the Hedgehog for the Leapfrog Ditch. Yeah, it was It was not really a Sonic game first, it was an educational game first. But I begin, tried. I didn't play as many video games when I was younger. So I was getting into it a little more this year, and I'm realizing I would have absolutely lo loved this as a kid. And so I saw the first movie, I really, really enjoyed it. It was a really good video game adaptation, which is, you know, so rare these days. So I am really excited to see the second one, and here we got the final trailer I get to react to. And uh, they, yesterday they released the Sonic cut of the trailer, where everything was sped up to like one second, and we got a few meme frames in there. So I am excited to see the full trailer and what it's going to be, and hopefully I've done enough research uh, that I'll be able to make some guesses about what's going on and not sound like a total idiot, even though, again, I'm still a Sonic noob, so bear with me on that. Okay, but enough talking, let's go ahead and jump into this reaction. Oh, great, the Winter Soldier. <laughs> I was right, that joke was funny the first time, it's still funny. These rings signify the commitment. Uh oh. So help me, Thomas! <laughs> Life or death situation, I need you to use the ring to save me. Like, right oh now. no. Snow, my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, Hawaii. I just hope we are not too late. Oh lord, there are two of them. <laughs> What's okay. Uh, okay, quick version. Robotnik is back. Oh. I discovered the source of ultimate power. So it's the, I we need to believe it's the Master the Emerald. Is oh, there's Knuckles. You rock some kind of space porcupine. I am an echidna warrior. Oh gosh. Hmm. <laughs> I love Idris Elba's voice here. It's time to say goodbye to humanity. Oh, that's not good. Welcome to the new norm. This is your moment to be the big hero. Bad time to say this, but I don't actually have a plan. You never do. Well, that was like long. Hey, you got a little something on your. Uh, boy. Oh. Someone call an Uber? It's cold in here. Let's turn up the heat. And that's where the snowboarding starts. Okay. The Winter Soldier. Fear not, citizen. You are terrible at this. Ha! Your negative attitude is not helping. Yeah, more saving, less talking. We stick together. Oh, no that's one. huge. You're unskilled. Yeah! Untrained. Unworthy. Oh, that's not good. You forgot one. Unstoppable. You had to have him running on water, that's cool. Oh, that was a great trailer. Stand still and die! For a guy named Knuckles, you are really bad at punching. <laughs> he spoke way too- Oh, get tickets now! Oh, wow! Oh, that was an exciting trailer. That was great. Um... <laughs> I knew there were, they weren't going to have the meme shots in there because those were just because they knew people were going to go frame by frame, but I was slightly hoping we'd see the meme shots thrown in there in some capacity, even if it was just a split second. All right, uh, let's go ahead and break this trailer down because there was a lot going on here. All right, let's go frame by frame on this trailer. Okay, so, of course, it's rings. So the sister-in-law here is getting married, and uh, of course something had to happen to make her not like Tom even more. And his cell phone ringing here, I'm pretty sure that's, um, like one of the Sonic theme songs or Zone themes. Okay, so, <laughs> life or death situation. Uh, this ties into the scene we're going to see later. It looks like Tails is unconscious here. 
How's he getting service out there? Why would you, why would you throw the ring there, Tom? <laughs> that is an appropriate reaction to have to see Tails and Sog together. So this... Is this supposed to be Robotnik's doing, or... Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I'm trying to make an announcement. Yeah, so I have seen the fan dubs from Snapcube. That's all I'm going to say. If you know, you know. Because, see, it cuts... It, it, it fades into this shot of uh, what looks like Robotnik returning to Earth. Right there. But these could be completely unrelated shots. This this could just be something to do with Sonic. We don't we don't know yet. Trailer misleading, perhaps. So this right here, I'm pretty sure is what's known as the Master Emerald. And from what I can tell, the Master Emerald is this massive power source that uh, that Knuckles is. Like has been protecting, like his family's been protecting through generations, and it has something to do with smaller gems. I believe it's supposed to like keep the power of the smaller gems, the Chaos Emeralds, in check. Again, if I am wrong, please correct me in the comics. I want to learn more in the comics. I said comments. God dang it! Please correct me in the comments. I would like to know more about this. Okay, yeah, that right there. That looks like the temple where the. Uh, gem is being stored. Now, I'm pretty sure in the games, the Master Emerald is on a floating island, so I'm curious to see if this is going to end up floating in the sky, or what's going to happen. Oh, go on, go back a second, with Knuckles here. So that right there, that is clearly the mushroom planet that Eggman was left on. So, maybe Knuckles helps save him, or something? Hmm. Space porcupine. Yeah, wrong animal. Oh, that that looks like it would hurt. Because those are big hands to be strong like that. Oh, hold on. Go back, go back, go back. I'm pretty sure I know what these guys are. I want to see if the car says it. Uh, okay, so the car just has the logo on it. But all these, like, G logos that they have. There's an organization called G-U-N. Uh, it's Guardians something nations, I think, and so acronym is GUN, and this is, I'm pretty sure, a pretty big part of the Sonic lore, and it's connected to the character Rouge the Bat, so maybe this is going to help set her up for a future, either the next movie or for the Knuckles spinoff show, because they did announce that for Paramount+. Plus. Honestly, she would make sense for the Knuckles show. Now this right here. Robotnik had the red and black suit before, now he's got a green and black one. And it looks like he's leveling the playing field just a bit with, you know, super-powered Hedgehog and Echidna. And he's wielding the power of the Master Emerald himself. Yeah, that's not good. So he, so he is the Tornado. This right here is when he starts floating up in the sky. So that big tornado that we've seen in the trailers, it's him. He's at the center of it. Okay, that explains what that is. Okay, so this this part here, that looks like Longclaw from the first movie. The owl who took care of Sonic when he was younger. Now, I don't think Longclaw is from the games. I think she's an original character, but I don't know if she's inspired by something from the games. But this looks like it's going to try to connect her to the Master Emerald and give Sonic a more personal connection to it. Oh yeah, the design of this looks really good. Yep, and right here he's like spinning uh, symbols to unlock a door. We've got video game puzzles, just as it should be. I really love the design of these characters. They look just like the video games and everything. And of course, Jim Carrey as Robotnik is great. And I'm glad they gave him a bald head and mustache for the sequel. Uh, I wonder if they're giving him a fat suit next time. That'd be fun. 
You're terrible at this. <laughs> yes, he is. So this is from... Well, he's in Seattle or something, helping stop crime. It's probably from the beginning of the movie. Now this looks like it's from towards the end of the movie. Sonic's all beat up. Robotnik has a giant egg monster. He's picking up the emerald. He looks all beat up. And then... They, they come in to save him. They're basically his parents in, in this universe, the way they've adopted him. I like that they actually will play a role in it and not just be there while the animal characters are doing things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this sister-in-law cracks me up. Love seeing him run on water. That actually looks really cool. So it seems like it's actually going to be a pretty even fight between these two. At once Sonic is no longer getting, like, dropped on by surprise. Yeah, you're really bad at punching. Gets punched instantly. Well done, Sonic. Alright, get tickets now. That was a great final trailer. Um, I, I, will say, I won't say what it was, but... McDonald's toys did leak out including a, quote, surprise toy that is a pretty big spoiler for probably the final fight of the movie. And from what I can tell, it's just a logical progression that it would get to that point anyway, so people aren't going to be too surprised when they hear it. But, yeah, this was a good trailer. Again, I am getting more into the Sonic franchise and everything and following the lore and all that, so I am looking forward to this movie. I think I might actually even go see it in theaters, because I really enjoyed the first one and i'm curious to see now what they're going to tie into because again last movie had a tails post credit scene had two post credit scenes technically first with eggman and then with tails so i wonder if this movie is going to follow suit where like one post credit scene will set up the knuckles show and another post credit scene is going to set up the sequel hmm i'm curious how that's going to work i have a couple ideas about that so there you go, that's going to be my reaction to the final trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Again, this looks like a really fun movie and a really fun sequel. Uh, again, the first movie, they re were trying to appeal to the general audiences to bring more people in, so it was like a cop movie that Sonic just was kind of there for. This one, though, looks like they're going full Sonic the Hedgehog with, with everything. You got Knuckles, you got Tails, you got Master Emerald, you got the giant egg robot. I think that's from the games as well. Um... And, of course, a more accurate Eggman and everything. So I'm excited to see this movie. I don't know what else to say. I'm excited to see this movie. It looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. That's all I really want this to be. That's all video game movies should be, honestly. They should be a ton of fun. So, again, I think that there's probably going to be two post credit scenes like last time. This time setting up two different projects instead of just one. Uh, oh, yeah. I mentioned that Gun is in this movie. And they're connected to Rouge the Bat in the games. Like, I think she works with them. Maybe the one post credit scene will have Rouge show up. And that'll tease the Knuckles show. Because I think she and Knuckles have a thing. where And, like, Cat and Mouse. And she always wants to get his emerald and things like that. So may maybe that's how they'll set up. So she'll be a large part of the Knuckles show to help set up her character more for the third movie. And that one... There, I think there are two ways they can go with this third movie, from what I've researched. So... The first one, I believe, could be Metal Sonic, which I believe Eggman builds him, so we already see him building robots, so it makes sense that it could he, he could use a quill and make his own evil robotic Sonic. The other way they could go is by introducing Shadow, and I'm not sure if they want to do that yet. I know that he's a very popular character, but I'm not sure if they're ready to introduce him, because he seems like a pretty massive step in the lore they might want to set have a little bit more establishing like save him for a fourth movie maybe uh but i don't know they may want to just bring him in so that if they only make this trilogy they'll be good to go for that but they seem to have high hopes for this franchise and they want to turn it into a cinematic universe so we'll have to see i think it's either gonna be metal sonic or shadow being teased in the second post credit scene so rouge being teased in one and either metal sonic or shadow in the next one and I'll talk, I might do a small Bird Brain Theory video closer to release about how I think some of these cameos and teases could actually go, including maybe an Amy tease. Uh, I want to talk about that a little bit more 
maybe when we're right before the movie comes out, or at least a bird brain theory about that. Just a quick one. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Please drop a like and leave a comment down below if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, guys!